Hey guys, Mikey here. So today's video is gonna be on the topic how to remove NA that is missing values from your R data frame or how to replace these missing values with zero or some other text character of your interest. So let's get started. So for this demo, we would be considering the IRS data set. You can see that we have 150 rows and five columns here. I'm now going to create a sample data set which has some missing values. So here you can see that the entire fourth column and the third row is filled with missing values and there are other few uh, in some other parts of the data set. So the is.na is one of the most important and useful function while dealing with the NAs, it actually returns true if a missing case is present or else it will return false. A better way to visualize the overall pattern is by nesting this is.na inside any function. I mean the function any. <laughs> so uh, this way we can actually do a quick check to see whether there are any missing values in our data set. Like here, the iris new dataset returned true, stating that there are missing values, while the original iris dataset returned a false. Using the sum command, we can also see how many NAs are there in total. A much cooler command is the call sums command. It gives you an understanding of how the NAs are distributed among the columns. So here you know that the entire fourth column and the third row has NAs. So let's remove that first. Here I am more like creating a subset of the real data frame. Now you see that the third row and the fourth column have been removed and there are only three NAs left. If you want to just remove all the rows having NAs, the command to use is na.omit, but this is not highly recommended in the first go, as it might decrease your overall sample size like crazy. So here I am uh, showing you two cases using the na.omit function. So remember, now we have only three NAs left. So in the first case, when I use na.omit, it would be removing all the three rows. But say for example, in your model, uh, you just consider only three of the four factors here. Maybe the petal length is not that important and you don't mind even if you have NAs there. So in that case, you can modify your na.omit function in a way that it removes rows which has NAs only from the columns other than the third one, which is the petal length. Hence, among the three existing NAs, only one would be removed in this case, as the other two are in the third column. Now, let's make things clearer by checking the number of rows existing in each case using the nrow command. So the original data set, iris data set, had 150 rows. After we removed the third row, it became 149. And in the first case, using na.omit, we removed three rows and thus we have 146 rows. And for the second case, we just omitted the NA belonging to the second column. Thus we removed only one row and we have 148 rows. Also, in some cases, you might not want to remove the NAs and thereby reduce the overall size of the data frame uh, because it will, uh, like it will cause you to lose a lot of available information uh, regarding the other columns. So in that case, you can just replace the NAs with zero or maybe any other character or text or something like that. So for that we use a command uh, listed here and so we would be changing uh, these NAs to zeros. So here we are basically creating a subset of values which has uh, NA values and we'll, we will be replacing those with zero. You can have any other number or text here. Uh, in this case, you can see that you haven't removed any rows from the main data frame. 
and uh, so that's all for today thank you guys for watching hope you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe until next time bye bye